Today we're gonna tell you something about Slushi, which is a running dog developed in the northern part of uh, Africa, especially Morocco. It is uh, a little bit slower than the Saluki, which isn't really related to, although both have uh, sidehound running dogs. It is also called the African Greyhound compared to which it is even slower. This doesn't mean that the Slutti is a slow dog, which it isn't, far from it. But um, the thing is, the Slutti is more of an all-rounder than the Greyhound and the Saluki are. And why do I say so? Slutti is also um, developed to hunt a stronger quarry, for example, the jackal. And the Slutsi is also developed to um, guard premises to a certain degree. Please note that I'm not saying that the Slutsi is a good guard dog or is a, it's a dog that really uh, can defend you. Some might to a certain degree, but of course they are quite weak in build because they are built for speed predominantly. But on the other hand, most sidehounds have no guarding or watchdog um, inclinations, and then the Slutsi uh, does have that to a certain degree. This is something to take into consideration if you want this type of dog. It can be a benefit that you, you have a dog that watches over the house and if needed is willing to uh, participate in guarding you. It is also always a good trait to have in a dog. Uh, moreover, they are uh, still very fast. They are also quite hardy. Um, the drawback of the Slutsi is that uh, the gene pool is quite limited because they had uh, wars in which uh, also the, the running dogs were almost all exterminated, which is a bad thing of course, and then they have to recreate them. Um, still a nice looking dog, also quite rare which is a nice thing to have if you're into that. And uh, there's also still that exotic running dog uh, mechanism that you can see. There are also still working strains, which is uh, a good thing. Uh, as a pure hunting dog, I think uh, they will excel over a full gray. If you want to uh, get a similar type of dog without the uh, Slutsi uh, origin or you want some watch and guard dog uh, possibilities in your, uh, for example, Greyhound, there are also other options of course. And a little bit of uh, bull or a little bit of another type of dog. And you can uh, can go. Smell is good. Eh? You can go uh, a long way, but uh, Asutis breed pure in these uh, conditions, and also interbreeding breeds can be uh, hit and miss. Also, please note that the bull breed depends on what kind of bull you're at, but especially the pit bull terrier and uh, Staffordshire bull terrier strains often are. Very people friendly. This is what they were bred for. Of course, they bring some of the strength and muscles, so it's not that they cannot, but often they are very people friendly. Whereas that the Slutis are quite uh, wary of strangers. 
which is in a different attribute altogether. So you might think that you have a good uh, watchdog, but uh, wind up getting a, a very people-friendly dog. Also the greyhounds, and to a lesser uh, extent also the whippets, are very friendly, calm type of dogs. You see even that uh, that game bred pit bull terriers that are normally very dog aggressive can be calmed down when they are combined with uh, this type of uh, greyhounds. So please note that if you are carrying like a quarter of bull that your dog might be uh, similar in speed to a sluchi and uh, better in fighting and the sushi against the quarry, I can imagine that. But it could very well be that the sushi has a, more of a watchdog guarding, wary uh, disposition to help your uh, yeah, help keep your uh, property safe and alert you if something is amiss or some uh, strangers um, arrive at your premises. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. That being said, I like uh, all-rounders quite a bit, especially if they uh, are still capable of doing what uh, was intended, so to run very fast and uh, give you a little bit more of a, of a bite if needed. Huh? So don't have a dog that uh, you need one dog to run, another dog to guard. Of course, if you have the luxury to have multiple uh, dogs, this can be a big plus, eh? but not everyone has that luxury. I also like the Australian cattle dog for that purpose. It can hurt uh, cattle, especially uh, aggressive uh, bulls and cows. It can um, guard the premises, it can exterminate uh, vermin if it finds it. It's not as fast of a dog, but yeah, I like that kind of uh, multi-purpose uh, type of farm dog. And this is more of a multi-purpose kind of uh, the running dog, the Sluchi. The dog on the leash here is uh, a specialist, it's an earth terrier, also known as uh, Petterdale or uh, black fell terrier, in this case uh, smooth coated as you can see. It's not a, a fast dog, it's very explosive. Top speed is not uh, in uh, the league of uh, any running dog, even uh, the same size because he's too heavy boned of course. And also uh, made to um, bring a lot of power uh, in a small uh, package. And why? Because they needed to be uh, Spannable or as spannable as possible so that they could uh, go into fox badger dens and the likes and uh, bring the action there. This is uh, also a confrontational type of dog. A Sluji will not be that confrontational. Huh? Normally, they are kept in uh, packs in Morocco and they will. Uh, this is also a confrontational dog for quarry. But also Sluchi will not uh, solely kill a jackal normally. It will not uh, solely uh, attack an intruder normally. They are used in packs. If, you're, if you have four or five of those dogs uh, barking at you and will testing you, uh, if you keep going they will bite you. That can be a deterrent. But mind you, one uh, big band dog will be much more of a deterrent of the, than that five uh, Sluchis but will not be as alert because the five can spread eh? and also will never <laughs> run as fast so yeah it's all, always a compromise and uh, compromises are a good thing if it uh, still offers you working capabilities 
this is a good thing if you make compromises uh, for looks this is a bad thing a very bad thing I uh, hope you like this video also I try to uh, compare it with some uh, other breeds that uh, you might have known if you go for that lesser speed there's also uh, an option that uh, comes to mind this is the whippet which is an, uh, also an energetic type of dog a lot smaller than Sluchi but almost as fast and uh, also a very capable nimble type of dog very healthy in general especially if you get this from working stock so this could be a good alternative option um, I don't think uh, whippets are used to take down jackals <laughs> it could be the death of the whippets but uh, all the other things they uh, could do uh, quite well. Also gazelles are something that would be uh, hard because they are quite small. But uh, rabbits, they will be even better I think. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye.